I'm going to say this last video and I'll be done. I was going through the videos and I was reading the comments. You know, I made a video about um, Donald Trump and black people and a lot of African Americans said he was voting for Trump. I want to say this. We fall for a lot of stuff without looking into why people do what they do. And we get fooled quite often by the words and the representation of the person because he's rich and he made it. Trump has filed bankruptcy. Um, if you read stories, uh, he's a businessman. And most businessmen, I don't care who they are, everybody that does something that they should have done to get where they need to be. And using we fall for the okie doke and we have so much belief that this person is going to look out for us those are the various candidates the various candidates that get in office and cut all your benefits and make your life a living hell i pray and i hope that one day we can open our eyes and see that people say things or present themselves in a way that make it seem that they really have your concern and your best interest at heart and they do not. So for those of you who feel that Trump is this prime candidate, you need to ask yourself why. What are the benefits that you're going to receive when he gets into office? And at the tone that he's giving, uh, he's pissing people off and he's already causing division. He's already setting off violence in every rally, every place he went, there's been a fight of something. So is this the person to whom you want to represent you as a president? Talking about building a wall, talking about kicking people out, talking about doing this. Do you know that you can follow that category where the wall can be built around you and you can be um, excluded from a lot of things and you can be kicked out? Educate yourself is protecting yourself. Listen to the unspoken words because there are plenty of unspoken words. There are. You think this man really have your best interests at heart. If his wife can get up and use somebody else's speech and they don't feel the need to apologize, there's something wrong with that picture. There's something wrong with that picture. When you listen to him talk and it's negative, he's demeaning and everything else. And you don't think there's nothing wrong with that picture. So you would like to have him in history as a role model for your children to look up to as the next president of the United States. No, nobody's perfect. I get that. I really do. But we are so easily swayed. We are so easily swayed. And we are so easily convinced to think that people are a great candidate. And they're not. Look at the life. Look at what's happening now to black people. You need to wake up. This is the real world. This is no joke. Reality is before you. So whoever you choose to vote for, that's who you choose to vote for. But make sure that he is the person and he's going to represent you like he you think he is. Because once he gets in office, because all this is just words to get into office. The real action happens once they get in there. And then who will have mud on their face? Will it be you? That's the question you should ask yourself. And you can vote for whoever you want to. But for me, it ain't Trump. And no, I don't have to speak for all black people. I don't. But I can speak my opinion and my thought process. That's what I can do. That TV stuff, it's a facade. Because if I'm trying to get in the office, I'm going to sell you anything. Just like a commercial on TV when they sell gym shoes, a drink, or a sandwich. They make it so enticing for you to want it. Think about that. Hmm.